Hey boys and girls, welcome back. It is time to do some pack opening again. I have about 15 minutes before I'm expecting another call, so I'm hoping I can get through this fairly quickly. Uh, I've got some Dominaria packs, I've got some set boosters, some uh, collector boosters, and I have a whole bundle. So if I can get through this really fast, I wanna go through the bundle first and we can see what's in the latest and greatest of this bundle box. I'm looking forward to this. All right, so we got, oh, Perty Perty. I love the, the artwork. Let's see, inside of the box. Well, first we have a box, which is great because I can put my trash in the box. But we've got the uh, the artwork that has the planeswalkers on one side, and that is um, one of them. I'm really bad with memorizing cards. I don't memorize anything. All right, so there we go. This is a lovely box with all the lovely artwork. That's a Johnny. Maybe that's who that is over there. Okay, so we're gonna open that box, and of course it's tall because it has this this is something new that they started a couple of sets ago rather than having that uh thin black box we've got a couple of cards with some pictures and some counters and fun stuff like that and then here is our die so we got the set symbol and it's sort of a greenish you know pearlescent beautiful let's see if we can get a good that's a seven i don't have the light on maybe i'll turn the light on because sometimes there's a glare with the light but there we go there's a light just to make sure we have it all right so we get these um we get the box the box is so useful i love these boxes we get some instructions as usual nothing to write home about there we get a couple of packs of lands this has Herd migration, you can see it through. I'm not even gonna bother opening it. And the lands, they're land packs. There's nothing to write home about there. Then you have four, eight set boosters. So pretty cool. Um, the I think it cost $45 for eight set boosters. So, you know, a little under $6 a pack, which is what you're paying for them. I'm gonna see if I can move these correctly. All right, so we automatically know that's gonna have a list card on it. Oh, and a signed card to start with. That's pretty cool. So we got that signed. And then a foil land. And then we're gonna go through these fairly quickly because if the phone starts to ring, I gotta answer it because I do have a meeting scheduled. Let's see, I don't wanna miss. Well, even the, so the stained glass cards, the commons and uncommons, those were getting pretty regularly. Namada Primeval Warden, a foil defiler of dreams, ooh, and sanguine sacrament. Hmm. You gain twice X life. Well, that's good. It's a nice life gainer. All right. I, I haven't seen that before as a list card. Oh. And I thought we were going to get another list card, but I was wrong. I was, I'm trying to figure out how to do my trashes here. Okay, so we have just our basic art card, our basic land card, commons and uncommons, a um, couple of different showcase cards. Do I not have a rare in here? Wait, hold on. Is there no rare in this pack? Oh, that's the rare, okay. Whew, because I so, just saw a video where there were packs with no rares. Threats undetected, the foil Volshi Tide Turner, and an Ornithopter. Alrighty. And let's see. If I have to pause the video to take that phone call, I will. We shall see. And then I've got a draft in about an hour, so I definitely want to be. All right, Defiler of Dreams. 
Relic of Legends, and a Beast. And let's see how quickly we can get these open. Got to get the art card and the lands. I mean, truth be told, we get these for the, the dice. Sulfur Springs. That's a nice island. Full art. The Phasing of Zephyr. And a nice foil Tatiova. And then a badger. All right. Let's see. Oh, there's one of those pretty lands. And I mean, I'm sure that they get these so that they are somewhat balanced. Chaotic Transformation. Argivian Phalanx and an Elemental. So hopefully you can, you know, I mean, there's no guarantee, obviously, but on average, you probably get a signed art card in the box, and then you get a, um, probably at least one set, but how they do these things, I don't know. But there's a these things are not really set up. Rivaz of the Claw. There's a Zur Eternal Schemer. A Tura Kennerid Sky Knight. And a Treasure. But people think these boxes are random. They are not. The packs aren't random. The boxes aren't random. There is nothing random about this. Oh, there's another signed card. Well, that's cool to get a second one in the box. And let's see. I think I put that in the wrong pile. So we're going to put that in the signed pile. I think I already have a signed one of them. I'm not sure. And I really need to start putting things properly in binders. Let's see. Jahora, Ageless Innovator, <coughs> excuse me, Sanger Connoisseur, and a pretty dragon token. Nice 4 4 dragon. And the last one here, and then we'll do the two extras that we have. Oh, a third. Oh, and a signed lily. I love that. That is beautiful. All right. We've got to take a second to appreciate the signed lily. Excellent. I have a friend who's looking for a signed lotus. So we'll see. Oh, double tap in the Jahora. That's not okay. Electrostatic infantry and a zombie. All right. Now we're on to the two extras here. And do I feel like two different companies because these are upside down? So I don't know. I think that's probably true. I could probably look through those packs and see which ones were packed in different places. Evolved Sleeper, a nice card to work around and negate. Oh, and here we have Ceremonial Guard. It's a common. Um, but that's our list card. All right, last of the set boosters that are just random ones I picked up at my LGS. Oh, another signed one. Can't complain. Got a bunch of signed cards. Well, I know they're not worth anything. I get it. It's, it's all good, but they're fun to collect. And if you're not having fun, then why bother? All right, here is Rosnaket, heir of Rugach. Cruelty of Gix, and there's a nice foil, Maria, Scholar of Antiquity in the showcase, and oh, a mini game. All right, let's see. I think we still have a few minutes. We can open up. Now these, I'm not going to bother to try to sort, figure out where to sort these. It's just too much, too much work right now when I'm sort of in a rush here. Pretty Swamp, Rulik Mons, Maria, Scholar of Antiquity, Valiant Veteran, Tatiova, oh, Ramirez in the um, etched foil, Ivy Gleeful 
Belfi, Carpulsian Far. Ooh! All right, boys and girls, a full art foil lily and a soldier token with an angel on the back. All right, well, I gotta stop long enough to put that in a sleeve. That is gonna be worth a pretty penny. All right, can't complain. It's gotta brighten my day, right? I mean, not that my day has been going horrible. I've um, been doing some stuff that I can't really talk about because I don't wanna jump the gun too much, but let's just say I need to make some changes in my life. There's a pretty mountain. Rivaz, Evolved Sleeper, Mana Cannons, Rona, Ramirez, Torsten, Aisha, and Guardian of New Benalia. All right, so less excellent, but you know what? We got a lily. I mean, I am not complaining. I am so not complaining. I mean, obviously, it's hard to get the price of these boxes back. Ah, there's a pretty forest. Urtai resurrected. Threats undetected. Jensen Carthalian Druid Exile. That's a mythic. I don't know if it's worth a whole lot. I think that's one of the commander cards. Tori General. Markov, Savari Dragon Master in the etch. That is pretty, and it's a planeswalker, so I'm gonna put that aside. And Rasputin, Leyline Binding, that in the full art foil. Another bigger hit, excellent. I'm not covering up Lily, though. Alrighty, last one. Not too bad on the time here. We got like two more minutes left before I'm expecting another call. All right, let's see. There's the planes. I don't think I'll be passing a um, card. So it's Jahora, Devi Defiler of Flesh. Sarah Redeemer, I believe that's a hit. I'm gonna put it over there. Balmore, Torwaki, Aisha again, Soul of Wind Grace, that's worth about five bucks, I think, and Haughty Gin. All right, well, I think uh, Lily is definitely our big hit with Leyline Binding. Um, Serva, that one I have to look up. All right, so we've got some good things here to look up. And um, how did that end up there? I don't know. Um, oh, no, that's not going in that pile. So um, like, comment, uh, join the channel, have a blast, share it. Um, try to, we're trying to grow the channel. And uh, I would love to see some more traction here so we can open a lot more stuff. Thanks so much. Bye.